Well, I asked you guys a question. Could Munster do another one away from home? And you seem pretty confident for good reason. Yeah, yeah. Momentum was on their side. It really was. And it was close. It was a close game. So it wasn't all their way. But a, a quick evaluation of the game, they were the better team on the day. A lot across the board, really. It was close. Um, again, you talk about experience. I know that the Stormers won it last year, but you think about the experience of some of their Munster players, and they were the ones for me. Conor Murray, for me, is kicking yeah. game, is short kicking game. Unbelievable. Is probably what won Munster the game. And there was a load of standout moments in that. A um, couple of yellow cards across the board, um, some power plays. But I thought Conor Murray is short kicking game, is box kicking throughout is what got Munster across the line. Stormers get the first try, Manny Leboc intercepts, so it's an opportunist try. Piardi, the referee, had called advantage over. So Frisch throwing that offload, Leboc intercepting, was against the run of play. I thought it was a dominant performance by Munster. Heroic. It was heroic, like genuinely. And look, the difference between the two games were the conditions. The pitch underfoot wasn't amazing. Um, but in saying that, Munster went into this fully loaded. They had Conor Murray back. They had RG Snyman on the bench who came on early for Peter Romani. RG Snyman, was, well, he, was, he was world-class. He had some world-class touches. Jean Klein. Everything that RG Snyman's been through with his knees and the burns exactly. and everything like that. Redid his ACL, didn't he? Like It's a phenomenal story. Going back to your homeland as well, with a point to prove. People questioned him why Munster was so loyal to him. Well... That's what you get back because Munster could have torn up his contract on possibly a you know an injury clause etc. But Munster, a great rugby club, did the right thing, and then he repays them in spades in his own sort of home country, doesn't he? Yeah, you could see, and the momentum's gathered for Munster, and like, so they had him back off the bench. Malachi Fekatoa as well was brilliant, leaving at the end of the season. Tell the selfie that. Oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> someone's bringing that back out are they not <laughs> I'm happy to see it yeah I just, it was a complete performance by Munster like it really was driving line out was good yeah you talk about it a complete performance you look at the stats 66% possession that's the way the evolution of Munster and how they've changed from historically what you expect a Munster team to do drive box kick be tough you know uh, defend well all that stuff to now with and I said it last week with Prendergast coming in making a big difference. Graham Roundtree backing the boys to play with the ball, not the old school Leicester way or the way other teams have been coached. He has enhanced the players in allowing them to play and taking those risks. 57% territory. They had two tries disallowed as well, which I thought one of them was a bit harsh. Um, Gavin they, Coombs, I thought one was a bit harsh. The yeah. Go. yeah. And it's, he so, was unreal. He was unreal. He got the charge down on about 74 minutes on Manny Leboc, you talk about like kicking game and all the, the small intricacies around that. He got the charge down, which resulted in Hodnett's winning try. Yeah, and that that's a massive moment because, you know, ultimately, Manny Leboc has been the star player for the Stormers this year, hasn't he? We've talked about him all year. I've, I've waxed lyrical about him. You know, maybe celebrated that intercept a little bit too hard with the finger. Do you see that one come out? Mm, yeah, um, he was pointing at Omani, weren't he? Yeah, I think so. And, you know, then you rewind even further... If there's one team you don't need to wind up, it's Munster. And go, just going back to the video, the Storm was celebrating. They were celebrating the fact that they've got a home final and not having to go to Leinster when Munster beat Leinster in the semi. But then Joseph Dweber, what he's come out with, we're going to fuck you up, <laughs> like that. It's just motivation for a Munster team, isn't it? And you put that in Peter O'Mahony's head and, of course, they're going to say, no, it didn't necessarily motivate us, but it was noted. The work rate, the effort, Munster-esque, but the quality that they've shown, Crowley at 10, you know, he has been a phenomenon, I think, as well. Um, and, you know, Mine LeBoc, massive error with the charge down kick because he was, he stepped one, didn't he? Then he thought, I'll stand my 22 and kick it. That leads to the try. You know, even you go to the final play when they're turning them all over, you know, that is Munster DNA through and through. Um, and I'm just so chuffed for Graham O'Rountree because he's now officially crowned as Graham O'Rountree. Um, and everyone was asking questions at the start of the year, weren't they? When how, they were pretty poor. They were evolving as a team, getting away from Van Graham's way of playing. Uh, Prendergast was settling in as attack coach and it was heroic. You know, it was, you name all the big names, but, you know, Stephen Archer, I thought he was out of this world as well. Um, yeah. 
Tyburn has ever. I don't think I've ever seen Tyburn have a bad game. Like he is just monstering people, and um, you know it, the whole squad has evolved this year. Some good young players coming through, um, and Graham Rowntree has added value to every single one of them and, and improved their performance. And you know, what a way to finish the season! He hasn't played a home game in about six months. Um, off the back of being in South Africa, beating the Stormers, um, you know, and then coming back and going quarter final, semi final, final, all the way from home. They've done it the toughest of ways. Uh, and the scenes, we're recording this on a Monday night. There's a sellout at Toman Park for the return of um, Munster from South Africa. And it's going to be scenes, I can't wait to look at it on social media, very similar to the La Rochelle scenes that we've seen. Because it's huge for the province. Absolutely massive. Especially where they've been, which is nowhere, really, speaking frankly. Like, the, you think back in the day, back in our day, early on, Goody, it was like... The Munster, you've got Ronan O'Gara, Paul O'Connell, De- uh, Donico Callahan. You've got Stringer. Some of the, yeah, oh, of course. Like Peter Stringer, uh, Quinlan. Yeah. Doug Howlett. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Hey, there he is. He was, yeah, good, he was very good for him. He was very good yeah. for him, Doug. He was. They were unreal back in the day. Yeah, they really were. So for them to get a little bit of glory, I say a little bit, they've won the bloody it's URC massive. and they've done it the hard way. You think about what they've done. Beat the Stormers away. Beat Leinster away and this is what they spoke about didn't they they've been on the road the whole time and how good was John Hodnett's interview after ah fuck yeah fuck oh sorry <laughs> and then <laughs> Omani's face has just given it oh no <laughs> yeah he knows Omani uh, Omani's old school though is this, yeah, this is new school you it. can't beat a bit of swearing uh, but you mentioned some of the players that turned up we spoke about RG Snyman as well but Alex Kendallin as well off the bench. He was involved in that turnover line out with Ty Byrne. Craig Casey, I thought Ben Healy was zipping the ball around when he came on. And then the story around Keith Earls as well. Um, like phenomenal player for Ireland, Munster off at the end of the season. So, And just rewind your minds back a year, right? Just over a year. They had the quarter final. I think it was the quarter final, or was it semi final? Quarter final it was. They had the quarter final away at Ulster in the URC. And they were absolutely shocking. It was the end of Van Graham's era. They were really poor. It looked like there was no fight in the jersey. And to flip that round in a year and win the thing away from home at the Stormers, you know, sell out Stormers, it looked amazing, the atmosphere. And the fact that I remember John Dobson said this week they could have sold it five times over. So it is a phenomenal achievement. And Graham Roundtree, Graham O. Roundtree is an absolute legend and will be held in high esteem in Munster for the rest of his life now. Pod, 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 pod. Rugby pod.